Hello everyone, this is Luna. Today, we'll create a procedural hydrogel using Blender geometry nodes, allowing for easy adjustments to its shape. Let's dive into the practical steps. Delete all objects, clear unused data, and create a new cube. Then, add geometry nodes. Press Shift plus A to create nodes, or use the shortcut Shift plus Z. Create a cube and scale it down to 0.5 meter vertically, this will be the base shape of our hydrogel. Enable wireframe display, adjust the model's topology to be uniform, and subdivide the model twice. Next, we'll make the surface uneven. Connect the normals to the offset port of the set position node, this will inflate the model along its normals. Use vector math to scale the normals and reduce the deformation strength. Create a noise node and multiply its factor with the normals to randomize the surface displacement. Since noise values default to 0 to 1, remap them to minus 1 to 1 using map range. Adjust the scale value to achieve a suitable shape. Use set shade smooth to smooth the model, and add set material to prepare for later material assignment. Now, let's add the internal polymer chain network. Convert the model to a volume object and scatter points densely within it. Create a single curve and increase its point count using resample. Instance this curve onto the volume's points to create vertical line arrays. Introduce randomness by using random to control line rotation. To deform each line uniquely, first apply realize instances, then use for each element to process individual lines with set position. Duplicate the earlier noise and map range nodes set to vector and use noise values to deform the lines in 3D space. Adjust parameters to achieve the desired shape. At this stage, the lines may appear jagged. Smooth them with resample and set spline type. Finally, connect the index to the noise's W value, this ensures each line has a unique noise state.
When merging the models, the lines may extend beyond the hydrogel's boundaries. Use delete geometry to remove points outside the hydrogel. The principle is, first, use a raycast node to project line points along their positions. Points hitting the hydrogel are inside. Others are outside. Invert the result with Boolean math to delete external points. Next, convert the internal lines to meshes using Curve to Mesh. Now, assign materials to the models. Create two materials and assign them accordingly. Add a light to illuminate the scene. Create a grid as the ground plane. Click Render. Adjust the first material to be transparent. Slightly reduce IOR to minimize refraction artifacts in the internal lines. Set the color to blue and increase metallic reflection for highlights. In the material panel, use layer weight to fine tune transparency. Now, set colors for the internal lines. In the world panel, you'll see I've loaded an HDRI for base lighting. The ends of the lines are open. Return to geometry nodes and cap them. You can now easily adjust line deformation strength, quantity, and distribution. Tweak the lighting subtly. Some lines may still protrude outside the hydrogel. 
Scale down the collision model used in Raycast. Next, add micro bubbles inside the hydrogel. Apply the same principle, replace the lines with spheres. Control sphere size using random value. Create a new transparent material and assign it to the spheres. Our hydrogel model is now nearly complete. Add a camera and position it. Click Render to generate the final image. Then save it to your computer. These are the steps to create a procedural hydrogel. If you have questions, leave them in the comment section, I'll respond promptly. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.